Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the LEGO Nixo Knights, the Black Knight mech. This is how far we made it in part one. If you missed it, check it out. So here's the, uh, the body portion of the, the mech that we're continuing to build onto. So we're on the bag three. Um, there's quite a few parts left in these last two bags. You can see bag three alone has a good amount of bricks and slopes and plates and then we have a small bag with small bags small parts in the bag this also begins instruction book number two so pretty cool stuff all right so we've got two legs to build it looks like when i opened up the book so we're going to build them currently at the same time so we start with these wedge plates Put a Technic brick on them and then some corner bricks. And we have the joint piece. It's kind of like the knuckle joint. A couple headlight bricks with the transfluorescent orange pyramid slope on there some more headlight bricks some more of the slopes another technic brick and the chamfered corner bricks plate and a black Bracket. Where's my last corner brick? There it is, it was hiding under there. Have our plate and the bracket. There's our bracket. Corner sloped bricks. And the black slope piece there. Corner slope, corner slope, and black slope. Have an inverted slope on the underside. All right, so those are the two feet. So you can see this mesh is can be pretty big if those are just the feet. All right, so next is the leg portion I'm guessing I'm gonna make two of these as well yeah just making sure because I don't want to build two of them and realize oops they were supposed to be built slightly different but looking at the instructions it looks like they're gonna be identical so we have some brackets, two by two plate, the sloped piece there, more brackets now we have this plate with the bars that we're gonna attach some studs to and one of these sloped 
panel pieces. We had to make four of them, so this is the last one. And these will go right there, right there. Have all these Technic pieces kind of going together like that. Make another one. So we have the axle slash friction pin combo piece here. So the axle end goes in, and then you have the friction pin exposed. Those go inside those pinholes. Next, we have these wedge flag pieces. Both go there and there. Bring our foot part over. That ball and goes in there. We have the arrowhead shaped um, little wedge panel. With the black flags. And then these go on the front. So these are kind of like the shins with the little kneecap flap. All right, a couple more pieces left for this bag. So this is probably going to be the thigh parts of the leg. and we have transfluorescent orange cone shapes a couple wedge plates and our sloped panel a couple more of these cones wedge plates Panel. And these are going to get some stickers. Sticker number three, which is identical on both sides, whichever way you turn it. There's one, here's two. there. And this one goes here. We'll bring our Mac body over. We attach both the legs on kind of in the splits formation and then we click those down like that. And you kind of see it forms the shape of the legs. Now with that on
on like that. We're going to put these um, like spoilers to a car on there. Kind of create some armor for the sides there. All right, that completes bag three. So we're on to our fourth and final bag right now. Okay, we have all the parts dumped out for bag four. Um, we have two arms to build. Now the arms are not identical because one has the sword, one has a uh, missile launcher of some sort. So we can't build them at the same time. Um, so we're gonna start with the first arm. So a plate with some brackets. We have our ball joint piece, transfluorescent orange, and then we have a little knuckle piece for another ball joint. Let's see, inverted slope, a long sloped brick, some plates with the little bar clip on it. more brackets put a plate on one side that piece there have a black nexo tile that's undecorated it's just a tile spoiler elements it's gonna get a sticker sticker number two there's two sticker number twos they're both identical so we're just gonna slap the first one on this will clip on here bring our neck body over and that ball joint goes into that little knuckle piece there so that's our first upper arm part. Next up, some more brackets. with an axle hole in there. Inside that axle hole, we're gonna put a red axle. So it goes in and stops. Now we have brackets that are gonna go on the top of all of that. Of course, one's gonna hit the ground. Wedge bricks are what's going to go on the brackets on the sides. So we have kind of some slopes going on there. Next, we have another one of these plates with a bar on it. Put on the arrowhead sloped panel. Now I'll go there. Turn it over. Now we have the bionicle fingers. And these are actually going to be fingers for the, the mech. The last one there. assembly here. Some 
this end here, you can see there's an axle hole. It's actually going to connect to that red axle that's in there. We can kind of close his hand on it, so that's going to be his the base of the sword. Connect that ball joint onto that knuckle. So you can kind of see how it's got some motion. Articulated motion. All right, so let's build his sword now. with a uh, pinhole in there. Now we have these newer axle connectors, these pieces here. Let's start by putting an axle here. And we have these click hinge style pieces. that. Next we have these giant blades that have the axle on the end. Put those in there. And I click these shut like that. Creates that large fierce looking blade. And this piece slides in there this helicopter rotor piece on there. A couple more brackets. This blade element, it's kind of, kind of bent a little bit. I guess they're so long and, and thin that they kind of bend a little bit. So mine's a little bent. All right, a jumper. Tile, a double wide cheese slope. And a one by one tile with a clip on the top. Three of these transfluorescent orange pyramid slopes. Let's go like that. Pieces go like that. A couple one by two plates with a bar. And then a transfluorescent orange slotted tile. down like that and that is the mean looking sword bring the mech over and you can see this pops into that pin there it's pretty cool all right we have the other arm to build and then we'll look at the whole thing fully complete so we'll start with this Piece, couple brackets. So this is kind of like how we built the first little upper shoulder piece. It's actually um, pretty much identical from what I can tell. Inverted slope, slope.
There's the other black Nexo tile. We have this extender. That's something I didn't put on the first one. Was I supposed to? Let me backtrack. Yes, I was. I see that now. So that will pop that off. Pop this one on here. So that should allow a little bit more articulation. Yeah, it allows a better range of motion for that arm. So, glad I caught that now. Or else I would have been looking at it saying, why do I have this big extra piece left over? Alright, this goes here. We have another one of our spoiler pieces. Gets a sticker. That goes there. Which then bring this over, goes here. So we have one more sticker. And I realized I didn't put it on the body part. So this would have been part one of the video where I missed it. So there we go. That's the shield, and that completes all of our stickers. So we have um, the next part of the arm to build. Another one of these spoiler pieces. I have some wedge plates. Basically creating this large shield. Got these really large pyramid sloped bricks or arrowhead sloped bricks. Clip there. Some transfluorescent orange slopes. Over, we have some anti tiles. Red axle through there. Now we have two of these elements that are identical. like upside down. Wow, that slipped out of my hand. Okay. Now we have the knuckle joint piece or the ball joint piece that'll connect to a knuckle. This is a little tricky. You have to slide a too long red axle through there. That'll lock that Piece in. And this will connect right in between these anti tiles. Like that. Turn it around, looks like, like this. Yeah, so there's our, our ball joint piece. We bring our mech over, and we have the knuckle part there. That will go there. All right, so let's zoom this out. Actually, can't zoom it out. Just got to pull it back.
move the box so we could see the whole thing. So there is our giant Black Knight mech. So we have this kind of rubber tipped piece there that launches out. You just push it, or you pull this little piece back here. It'll launch out. Um, you have a uh, Robin, so you can take a sword off, and that's what clips onto this clip over here. And then his Nexo shield will clip onto this clip over there. Open this up. Put him in there, close it up like that. Bam, there it is. So we have our, our mech. Still want to pull this up just a bit. Have some of the villain stuff right here. And then you have the little cage that they can capture the little bot or any other of the, the Nexo Knight characters. You can see how they can keep them in the little cage area. And then of course you have a couple other Nexo tiles for the powers. Very cool if you ask me. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. We have a bunch of Nexo Knight stuff on this channel. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. But um, if I don't put it down there, make sure to just check out my other videos and you'll see all the cool Nexo Night stuff. So thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.